Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome back to another episode of our Wind Waker HD playthrough. Uh, in the last episode, we took on the easiest boss in the game, and now we are heading northwest, I believe is what he said. Luckily, I have a map that tells me exactly where I need to go anyway. So, yeah. That's cool. Plus, I have the swift sail, so it doesn't really matter. I wonder if it's this island. No, that just looks... That's way too close. That's, um... That's one of the areas where we put down a pearl. Uh, I will say, the compass, uh, and, like, clock are a bit covered with the, um... This layout that I've created. But hey, I mean, you gotta see the hearts. The hearts are a bit more important. I'm not sure what this place is. Whatever it is, I'm not a big fan, so I'm just gonna leave. Just gonna avoid the tornado. I'm just gonna keep on moving. Stormy seas. Uh oh. I don't have a way to attack this. Th Wait, no, I have the boomerang. Okay. Uh, hopefully, okay, I can only hit that many. Okay, come on, please, uh, that's as many as I can do it this time, good. Oh crap, you're still alive, uh, shoot, okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay. Most of them are blue. I think I may have it. Come on. Okay, there's still one more. Perfect. Got it. Beat a random encounter. Oh! Treasure time. Oh, I like how you could see the, um... What's it called? Uh... So it's right up... Shoot, we sailed past it. It's right about here-ish? What do we get for beating the thing? Orange rupee. A hundred rupees? Dang. That's pretty good. Alright. I mean, it wasn't important to do, but hey. I mean, we got it now. Glad I encountered that while I had the boomerang. Because, geez, if I didn't, that would have been a problem. Like, what would I, what would have I done? Like, use the frickin' grappling hook? Like, man. That's, a, uh, that's a whole thing right there. Right, I need to turn slightly, like, right here-ish. I don't think that's it, unless that's an entire sea chart away. Which isn't impossible, but... Given how slowly I'm moving on the map, and how quickly I'm getting to it, yeah, that's not it. Oh wait, uh, yeah, no, that's still not it. Okay. Oh, right, this is some, this is like pirate shit. Right. I'm not dealing with that right now. I think that off in the distance over there is where we need to go. It's so much fun to jump your boat, like seriously, like, wh why is this a feature? Why is it a feature, but I'm so glad it's one. I wish we could get, like, tidal waves and stuff. 
Oh, right! I was like, I don't remember there being a dun another dungeon. It's because it's already destroyed. Right. Look, Linkle, do you see it? What has happened to this place? Great Fish Isle, already destroyed. What is, what is the meaning of this? The island it is. We are too late. I knew we had precious little time, but I never suspected how little. A great water spirit named Jaboon once lived here, but no sign of him remains. Oh there, Linkle! Oh, it's a uh, Piccolo. Well, my Piccolo voice, rather. Hmm. So you're here. I've been looking for you. Are you by chance seeking the great spirit Jaboon? Sorry to report that Jaboon can no longer be found here. Just look at how this place has been torn to pieces. I suppose, too, this is the work of the Shadow in the Forsaken Fortress. But work not. Jaboon was able to flee this island before it was attacked. He is in a safer abode now. Would you like to guess where that abode may be? On the island you were born. On Outset. Yet, even if you were to go to Outset now, you would not be able to see Jaboon. The cave where he hides is sealed with a mighty stone slab that repels all who try to pass it. Why, not even the pirates with their mighty ship could they get in. I must apologize, Linkle. I thought if anyone would know of your whereabouts, it would be the pirates. I've told them this tale without so much of a thought of the consequences. I don't know what they hoped to get, but they immediately tr set sail for Outset Island and tried to break into the cave. It is lucky that they could not gain entrance. I have heard that they were last spotted on Windfall Island, but doing what, I do not know. If you wish to seek Jaboon, I wish you'd search... Uh, you'd better search for the pirates on Windfall Island. What an eerie isle this is. Everywhere else boasts clear skies and calm seas, but this place suffers under dark clouds and rain. Valu must have been right when he asked me to bring word of Jaboon to you. He called this island cursed. I would counsel against staying here longer than you have to, but that is your decision. I have told you of Jaboon, so my task is complete. Alright, well, it's time to head back to Windfall. So, Jaboon has survived. The sea spirit has lived through trials of many long years. He must have caught wind of Ganon's attack beforehand. If we are to believe the words of the Rito Postman, then the pirates know something about the cave where Jaboon hides. Why don't we go to Windfall and search for them there? Alright, Windfall it is, which is that one. So, this direction we go. I love how many treasure charts I have that I just do not open. Because there's just no point, for me at least. Alright. Well. Stormy seas everywhere now. Which is fairly calming. I will say- oh, that's a shark. That's what you get, bro. Oh. Let me grab that real quick. Uh, any amount extra rupees are good. Oh, that's Tingle's Island. I do not want to be there. I, I feel like I'm in, like, the very, like, small amount of people who really just does not like Tingle. Even as, like... I understand it, he's a joke character. I do not particularly like him. But hey, like, I, I understand the appeal. It's just not for me. Alright, so now we have to go into the bomb shop through the secret entrance. Yep, there's the pirate ship. I just saw it load in. Dum 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 dum. What? This is not. This is not where I 
Okay. Yes, just as the postman told us, the pirate ship has stopped here to avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk. I do not know what they are researching, but they are hoping to get their hands on Jaboon's sacred gem. I doubt they would tell you anything directly if you were to ask them. I should think you should try to find out what the pirates are up to without finding without them finding out about you. I have a feeling that what I need to do is that one frickin' mini-game again. Oh wait, no, I have to- I think I have to do this first, because I think we need a password, don't we? First thing I, that happens is I go check the pirate ship next, and I just wasted time sidling. Yep, I knew it. Look, don't be mad at us. It's not your fault that we absolutely gotta get bombs to get the treasure we're after. How about you just think of it as payback for the nasty little monopoly you've been running here, yeah? So I bet you're thinking it's foolhardy to ask pirates to pay such an outrageous price, huh? Yep, betcha. Uh, you know, Gonzo, I still can't get over that bit of fast talking you pulled to get over that information out of the postman. Huh? Oh yeah, that was smooth. I'll tell you the minute. I set my eyes on that Linkle. I knew she was hiding something back at outset, yeah? When I saw that postman, I just pretended like I was all worried about the kid and stuff. And presto, he spills the beans. Whatever. I'm- I don't care about the pirates. The pirates are my least favorite part of the game. Like, even- Tetra's personality is kind of not even fun for half of it. Like, I understand the ego. I get it, but a lot of it is just... It's the one time the cartoony bit of this game kinda gets to you, and that's in a bit of the writing for the pirates. But, like, that's, like, the first time you see Tetra actually, like, have any amount of character outside of just being kind of mean and rude. Uh, it's Chumily, alright. Chumily is what we need. We should probably, like, let this guy go. I don't think we have the ability to, though. Sure don't. Oh, well. I don't think I can even get bombs through here, though. I think what I need to do is actually, like, go back to the pirate ship. So we go onto the pirate ship say the password, get the bombs, you know how it is. How do you treat a shark? Chumily. And we are allowed in, despite the fact they could easily just, like, see who I am. Oh, Linkle. You know, I'm not doing your voice either. Alright. So now we just gotta get over there and get, um, the bombs. Alright, so 
doing it, uh, oh right, doing it with, um, Okay, first of all, I'm going to reset. Oh wait, no! This time it just, uh, it starts set like that. Alright. So, what I need to do is, um... Shoot. Oh, what the f- I've already fucked it up. Alright. Yeah, this one is a bit more difficult, to my recollection. You know, why can't I just, like, glide over? Turn, 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 turn. Oh my god, I have to cut that entire segment. That's just actually embarrassing. Uh. Alright. Oh, that's actually super embarrassing. I feel so bad about that. Ugh. And of course the one where I just like try to take my time with it. I, I don't have the energy. I spent all of my energy doing that shit, and now I'm just going to... Ugh. No energy to voice act. No energy for frickin' anything. That is the end of today's episode. Frick, let me roll up the goddamn stairs. Ugh. Alright, well, thank you Tetra for allowing us to have these bombs, and thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Where is my boat? Where is my boat? Alright, there it is. Alright, well, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.